with it, and it is already in our bodies. It is ravenous and dangerous. Most, it, it causes many deaths per year. Most of us know someone or are the ones that suffer or suffered from it. There are many types of it. it ha there is no way for certain to catch it on time. It happens to people of all ages. We know about it. There are stories about it on media and in books. We learn about it along with the human bodies in every science class we ever took. Most of, it, most of us have thought, have thought about it more than once in our lives. Learning about cancer will help your chances in diagnosing it early. Cancer has always played a major role in my family. Fortunately, none of my immediate family has ever had cancer, but it does run on both sides of my parents' families. My grandmother suffered from it, and I witnessed at a young, at a young age the effects it had on someone, even as I grew older. Luckily, my grandmother survived the kind of cancer she had. But that's the thing, it never really goes away. It just goes into remission and it can come back at any moment. First, I will talk about, I will share with you some information on, about cancer. Then, secondly, I will share, I will discuss what some of the symptoms are. Finally, I will discuss how diagnosing cancer early will help, help save lives. Now first, what is cancer? In order to have a better understanding of cancer, first we must discuss what cancer is and some of its background information. Cancer is a general name for all the kinds there are. For example, there is breast, thyroid, pancreatic, ovarian, and prostate cancer, which are just some of the few. And according to the the website www.cancer.gov, in all types of cancer, some of these bodies, in, uh, some of the body cells begin to divide without stopping and spread into surrounding tissues. In other words, the cancer cells multiply and divide and spread throughout our bodies. It is a genetic disease due to the fact that it changes our genes and the way our cells function. According to the Huffington Post on February 4th, 2011, each year 12.7 million people discover they have cancer and 7.6 million people die from, die from the disease. However, evidence shows that 30 to 40 percent of these deaths can be prevented. And according to Bernard Stewart and Christopher Wilde, who wrote the book The World Cancer Report of 2014, estimates sh Estimates for 2012 show that there were 8.7 million people alive who have had a cancer diagnosed in the previous year. Once we have cancer, it never goes away. It just goes into remission. Even to get it to go into remission may take years and less if you're lucky. Some of the treatments for cancer are chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. Even then it is not guaranteed. Now that I have discussed what cancer is and some of its background information, now let's move on to what some of the symptoms are. In order to fully understand cancer, first we must know what the symptoms are and what a symptom is and what to do if you have any of these symptoms. A symptom is a mental is mental and physical attributes that cause the disease. Some of the, the symptoms for cancer vary with the different types of cancer you have, but there are some common symptoms. For example, fatigue, unexplained weight loss or gain, fever, change in appetite, nausea, vomiting, and changes in skin color. There is one way to know for sure if you have these symptoms if you have cancer and that is to go to a doctor on a regular basis, especially if cancer runs in your family like it does mine. Now that I have discussed symptoms and what to do if you have these symptoms, now I will, dis now I will discuss how, how, being, how being diagnosed with cancer helps save lives. 
how being diagnosed early with cancer saved lives. It may get depressing and scary to be diagnosed with cancer, but there is still hope. Being diagnosed with cancer early can help increase the chance of survival and lowering the risk of death. Go to the doctors regular, on a regular basis because most of my family that died did not go to the doctor until it was too late. Do not let fear or pride get in the way of going to the doctor. They are there to help you. My grandmother was one of the few to survive the cancer she had, but she wasn't as lucky as most of you might think. She was almost too late, and if she waited any longer, she might not have been able to make it. Now that you know what cancer is, its symptoms, and how being diagnosed with it early on helps save lives, I will bring things to a close. The importance of knowing what knowing about cancer will help your chances in diagnosing it early. First, I talked about cancer and its background, and second, I talked about the symptoms and what, and lastly, and what the and what to do if you have the symptoms. Lastly, I talked about the importance of getting it diagnosed early. Being diagnosed with cancer is not the end of the world. There is still hope, and you have to have faith and a strong will to you know, the strong will in order to survive. And the doctors are there to help you. They may be the the, the very thing that saves your life.